There you go. I have a catalog mode under the WooCommerce. I can activate it. And after that, when I refresh the page, you'll see all the prices along with the Add to Cart button are hidden. And not only that, I can set up the conditions, for example, activate catalog mode only for logged in users, logged out users, hide Add to Cart button globally or single product pages or for specific user roles, whatever it is. And that's not it. I can also open up my product, open up the catalog mode tab and set up all the rules here. Now you're probably wondering, well, this is most likely a premium plugin or whatnot, but you're not correct. It's just a code snippet I made for you. Take a look at the description of this video. There is a link to the code snippet. Grab the code, add it to your site and you're good to go. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to set it up. So let's dive in. But before I show you the solution, here's a quick shout out from the sponsor of this video. And that is Rapid Cloud. First things first, what is Rapid Cloud? It's a managed hosting for WordPress, which has a really good reputation. As you see currently, it has a 4.8 star rating in a Trustpilot. Now let's talk about performance. With uh, Rapid Cloud, your website stays fast and responsive even during high traffic peaks. It is because it's powered by Lightspeed Enterprise servers and it uses optimized caching with Lightspeed Cache and Redis. It allows Rapid to ensure that your site is always performing at its best. And not only that, it is designed to handle dynamic features and high concurrency without missing a beat. It has a free Rapid CDN and Redis caching with Relay. And when it comes to security, then Rapid Cloud doesn't also hold back. With multi-layer proactive defenses like Komodo, Web Application Firewall, Advanced DDoS Protection and Real-Time Vulnerability Detection, your data is safeguarded all the way. Plus, each website is isolated through containerization, ensuring maximum security and performance stability. What is also awesome is that they have a virtual patching for enhanced security, which ensures that your site remains secure until an official update is released. Plus, they have a malware protection, which is a really nifty feature. You can test it for free for seven days. So just click on start free button, register, log in. And after that, you'll see a dashboard like this. So if you're looking for a reliable web hosting, then Rapid Cloud is a way to go. Now, in order to make it work, you have two options. First, if you have a team installed, for example, I'm using Ploxy team, then Install a child team for this one here, activate it, and then go to the teams file editor, open up functions PHP file, and paste the code I'm going to show you down below here. Update the file and it works. I don't like this very much because in case I'm going to change the team, I'm going to lose all the modifications. Therefore, I'm using the other options. I'm going to go to the plugins, add new, and I'm going to search for WP code, this one here. This allows me to add all sorts of code snippets without using a child team. For example, if I go to my code snippets menu, then you'll see I have 15 active snippets, which all do all sorts of stuff. For example, add new button to the Gothenburg header, back to top button for Gothenburg. This one here adds a portfolio custom post type and so on and so forth. So let's go to the code snippets, add new, choose add custom snippet, Choose PHP snippet, give it the title, for example, catalog mode. Next, paste the snippet here, choose run everywhere, activate it here and click update. Now after that, you'll see a catalog mode menu on the left. If you go here, you'll see there are a bunch of options for you. Just to demonstrate some of those, I'm going to hide add to cart button on single product pages. Let's save it. Let's refresh the product, you'll see it works for the simple products, but it also works for the variable products. Okay, looks good. Next, let's hide add to cart button for logged in users. I'm logged in, so let's refresh it. It doesn't show up. I'm going to open my site in a private window. And now I'm logged out and you'll see there is a add to cart button. What else can we test here? Well, let's activate catalog mode only for specific user roles. So I'm going to choose user role silver. Let's save it. Now I'm logged in as administrator. It works. Now I'm logged out user. It also works. Let's log in as a silver user. And as you see, 
no prices or add to cart button for this user role. Well, let's test it in other way. That is, let's hide only add to cart button. So let's search for silver, save it, refresh it. And now you'll see prices are displayed, but add to cart button is missing. You can also activate catalog mode for specific product categories. Let's test. Let's search for furniture, save it. Let's go to the furniture category and you'll see no add to cart button here and no prices. Catalog mode has been activated, but if I go to the shop, you'll see that for other categories, prices and add to cart button is visible. Now those were the global settings here. Let's also test per product. So I'm going to open up this product here. Let's edit it. Scroll down, there is a catalog mode. You can activate catalog mode only for this product. You can hide the add to cart only for logged in users for, or logged out users. Instead of the catalog mode, you can hide only add to cart button. Price remains visible. Here you can choose a user role for which this rule applies. It works in a similar way as before, so I'm going to skip this part. As you saw, adding a simple catalog mode with some most important features is really simple. Just copy the code, add it to your site and you're done. Now I have made a separate video how to add a custom endpoint to your WooCommerce site. Just click add a new custom endpoint, add the tab name and the information. And when you go to your WooCommerce dashboard, you'll see all the custom tabs displayed here. Once again, setting this up takes only a couple of minutes. It can be done with a simple piece of code. If you would like to know how to do that, then the video is on the screen. So be sure to take a look at it next. In the meantime, take care.